Hello guys, assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. My name is Usama and in today's video, I'm going to guide you about the complete application process of another scholarship that is offered by GIST University that is located in South Korea. So they are offering a fully funded scholarships for masters and PhD students. So in this video, I will uh, talk about the scholarship first and then I'll guide you about the application process. So let's talk about the scholarship first. So for that we'll come on to this website and I will also mention the link of this website in my YouTube video's description. If you talk about the financial benefits that are offered in this scholarship, so uh, you will uh, get your uh, tuition fee waived off if you get this scholarship. You will get a monthly stipend of a one lakh forty thousand won for MS students and two lakh ninety five thousand won for PhD students. You will also get a meal allowance, and you will also get a international students allowance, and then you can also get research assistantship if you are participating in research projects. You will also get a flight reimbursement means that your flight tickets will be paid by this scholarship as well and 60% of your national health insurance will be covered in this scholarship including annual medical checkups. So this is an amazing opportunity. If you talk about the eligibility criteria, so you should have a minimum of a bachelor's degree for enrollment in this university and you should uh, also have an uh, English proficiency certificate. If you talk about the required documents, so you should have a notarized copies of your official degrees and transcript. You should have a two recommendation letters with signatures and stamps from the recommenders uh, that can be your uh, professor or supervisor. And if you talk about the um, uh, English proficiency, so you should have an English language test report. And if you talk about the um, identity document, so you should have a passport for uh, applying into this scholarship uh, if you talk about the, uh, the process of this scholarship so for that we'll uh, click on the click here to apply a link after clicking on that link the link will take you to this page and on this page you can uh, see all of the details about this scholarship again from here and uh, after reading all of the information uh, when you want to apply for the scholarship so for that you will click on the online application button from here after clicking on the online application button uh, the link will uh, take you to this page and on this page you can see uh, further information that is given about this scholarship so the last date uh, to apply for September intake is April 15th uh, 2024 so you have uh, around 17 18 days to apply for this scholarship and then the uh, result will be announced on uh, June 4 2024 and if you talk about the uh, um, further requirements that are mentioned over here so here you can see uh, uh, medic uh, matriculation fee waiver so what is matriculation fee waiver? Uh, matriculation fee is a fee that they charge for application but you don't need to pay this application fee uh, so uh, all you need to do is to download this matriculation fee waiver uh, document and get it signed by your department chairman of uh, the university wherever you get your uh, bachelor's degree from you can uh, read all of the uh, information about this application you, uh, if uh, you have any confusions you can click on the application guide and you can read all of the information from there so now we'll start our application process so for that we need to uh, click on the sign up button since we are not registered on this website so after clicking on the sign up button a screen like that will appear on your desktop and you will fill all of your information over here to register yourself first of all you will write your uh, last name then you will write your first name after that if you have a middle name you can write over here then you will choose your date of birth by clicking on the uh, calendar then you will choose your gender from drop down menu then you will write your phone number and then you can choose your nationality from the drop down menu over here then you will write the zip code of your area you can search it on the google if you don't know your zip code after that you will write your correspondent address means the address uh, your um, complete address um, street address uh, house number and town village wherever you're living after that you will uh, choose your degree program if you're applying for ms choose ms we are applying for phd choose phd and after that you
you will choose the department that you wish to apply for so you have a list of departments if you click on the uh, drop down menu arrow uh, after clicking on the arrow you can choose your desired um, department from this list for example i am choosing school of life, life sciences after that you will write your email address first you will uh, write um, half of your email address over here then at the red and then you will write the end tail of your uh, email address after that you will choose your password and after that you uh, here you will write the name of the desired academic advisor or proposed laboratory in your favorite department so i will suggest that you should get the approval of this desired academic advisor before applying for this scholarship because if you get an approval for uh, from your uh, advisor your future advisor chances of selection will increase so um, if you're applying without choosing uh, uh, or getting an approval from uh, your uh, future advisor the chances of your uh, selection will be lower as compared to those who uh, gets approval from the ad advisor so you can search the um, name of your uh, relevant uh, department and uh, advisor from the website of this university and you, you should contact them and get their approval uh, if you don't want to get their approval you can just simply uh, choose your uh, favorite department and write the name of uh, that department or uh, the proposed laboratory of that department over here uh, after writing the name of uh, your academic uh, uh, advisor or your favorite department uh, at GIST, uh, you will click on the save button over here. After clicking on the save button, a screen like that will appear on your uh, laptop screen. Here you can see your uh, details that you mentioned uh, while you were registering yourself on this uh, website uh, here you can see um, some of the blanks are uh, empty so we'll fill those blanks first of all we'll write the final university graduation on current university uh, name over here so you will write the name of the university from where you completed your bachelor's or if you are applying for master's you will write the university's name fr uh, from where you completed your master's and then if you have uh, done or completed your graduation thesis you will write the subject of those graduation thesis over here and then here you can see the blanks that uh, are for the name of the desired professor so if you have gotten a, an approval from uh, your desired professor at GIST you can write complete name of that professor over here and if you have gotten the two approvals from the uh, academic uh, advisors at GIST so you can write uh, the name of the second prof professor over here uh, and if you haven't got uh, your uh, approval from your uh, the professors that you have contacted so then you can write uh, undecided over here after that we have a language proficiency section so here they've asked uh, about the language proficiency in korean so uh, we don't know korean so we'll write none over here after that uh, is the is english the language of instruction at your home institution so we will check yes option because english is an official language in india pakistan and bangladesh so we can choose a yes from here after that is english your native language so we'll choose no since english is not my native language if no what is your native language for example my native language is urdu so i write urdu over here if english is not my native language after that here they've asked us about uh, how um, we came to know about GIST so here you can choose any option from the drop down menu uh, application for matriculation fee waiver so we'll check that option since we don't want to pay any uh, matriculation fee so we will check that option uh, this is an important step you have to check that option uh, after uh, checking that option please explain your financial difficulties and reason you need uh, matriculation so he, over here you will write all of the explanation that uh, i cannot afford the matriculation fee and i want this waiver because uh, i don't have enough, enough financial resources so you can uh, write various reasons over here that why you are deserving for this fee waiver and why you should not the uh, not pay matriculation fee and why you should get a waiver so you can write uh, the explanation over here uh, after writing that here you uh, will come on to the next section 
uh, that is about uh, disabilities so if you have any disability you can uh, choose uh, from here and write uh, the details of those disabilities uh, after writing the detail of disabilities here you can uh, you have to mention the details of your recommend uh, recommenders you can write the detail of your professors they will uh, um, contact the professors and uh, your professors will directly fill the recommendation form and send it to the university so all you have to do is to uh, discuss the this with your uh, professors uh, in your university from whichever university you completed your bachelor's or master's uh, so you will mention the detail of those professors that were your professors at your previous universities and after mentioning the details you will uh, click on the send recommendation form buttons over here and uh, here you can choose i agree option as well after recommendation you will come on the uh, on to the education section so here you will uh, mention the details of your complete education if you have uh, done your bachelor's you can mention the uh, details of your bachelor's degree if you have done your master's you are applying for phd so you can mention the details of bachelor's and master's degree both so uh, for that you will click on the check button over here and then you will click on the new button after clicking on the new button first you will choose your degree uh, date from here uh, the date on which you got admission into your university after that you will uh, enter the graduation date means the date when you finished your degree after that you will write the name of the country wherever your university is located and after writing the country of the university here you will write the name of your university after writing the name of university here you will mention the major of your uh, subject that you studied at this university for example if uh, it's bba write bba if it's bachelor in agriculture write, uh, write bachelor's in agri uh, agriculture science uh, and then you will write your uh, GPA over here and after writing your GPA you can choose the GPA rating criteria so in Pakistan it is 4 so I'll choose 4 over here and here I will write my GPA score for example if it's 3.5 I'll write 3.5 if it's 3.9 I'll write 3.9 after mentioning those details then we will mention the details of the second row so for that we'll choose the uh, degree option first here uh, if you uh, we have mentioned the detail of bachelors we'll choose bachelors if you have mentioned the detail of masters we will choose masters so i'll choose bachelors and then i will write the name of my academic advisor in my bachelor's degree uh, and after that uh, here uh, you can write the subjects of a graduation thesis so here you can mention all of the uh, subjects or maybe one two three subjects of your graduation thesis after writing the subjects of graduation thesis here you can um, leave these options empty if you are applying for phd you will click again on the new button and you will mention the uh, details of your ma master's degree after mentioning the detail of your education here you will mention the detail of your uh, degree verification so first of all you will write the name of your university and then you will uh, write uh, your uh, complete name including any former names then you will write your name then you will write your student id number and then you will write your uh, date of confirmation and then you will write the degree title over here after that you will write the uh, information of your university registrar uh, after, uh, you will mention all of his information over here in this blank you will write his name email address mailing address and then you will write his title and his phone number after mentioning his detail you can write your, the details of your uh, family members over here uh, here you will click on the new option and then you will uh, write the details of your family member first you will write the relationship for example if you are writing about your husband you choose husband sister brother mother you can choose any son daughter any relationship and then you will mention his detail over here and after that you will uh, you can uh, mention the details of your uh, work experience so for that you will click on the new button and you will mention all of the detail about your uh, the company where you uh, did your internship or we where you uh, did your job so uh, here you will write all of those details after uh, mentioning your uh, experience details here you can mention the details of your english uh, certificate test so here you will click on the uh, new button and then you will mention the detail of a test if you have taken any english test now after that here you can uh, mention your study plan and self introduction first of all you will uh, write the knowledge of your uh, major field so you will write the uh, knowledge of the field that you are applying for and that you have studied 
and then uh, here you will write the reason for study in korea that why you want to study in korea so you will write a paragraph and here you can write your key achievements that why you deserve this scholarship why you deserve to be admitted in this university so here you will write all of your achievements and uh, um, about your awards about your positions uh, uh, activities etc and then here you can write the goal of study and study plan so you write about your goals and future plans after you complete your study and uh, during your studies and then you can write the action plan after study that what is what are your plans after you complete your studies after that here you'll write your self introduction so these blanks are kind of your motivation letters so uh, your uh, this is the breakup of your motivation letters in a uh, different uh, paragraph so you can write uh, all of those details answering those questions over here and after that you will uh, upload all of your documents over here uh, here you will uh, upload your base degree transcript uh, english language certificate uh, uh, after that you will upload your passport and um, here you can uh, upload your uh, recommendation letter for matriculation fee waiver so for that you will uh, download your matriculation fee waiver application from here in pdf and after printing it uh, get it signed by the dean or head of the department of your university from whichever university you completed your master's or bachelor after getting in signed and stamped from your uh, chairman you can upload it over here uh, and if you don't have IELTS or um, English uh, test score, you can also upload English proficiency certificate. You can uh, download it from here and get it uh, um, signed and stamped from university and submit it over there. Uh, after that, you will uh, choose I agree option over here and you will click on the submit button and your application will be submitted for this uh, scholarship so this is the complete process of scholarship if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please 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 subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to comment and like my video and share with your friends thank you so much for watching my video allah hafiz